guys, today is Labor Day, and it's a day that we celebrate all the workers' investments and contributions to our great country. And so this year, with so many people working online and doing school online, I thought the perfect project would be to cut out a laptop. So that's what we're gonna do with scissors, is make a cutout laptop, and then you're gonna have the option to bring in some colored markers to add some fun detail to your own laptop. But for a twist, we're gonna use monochromatic color for our laptop. Now that word might be new to some of you. Mono means one, chromatic means color. So monochromatic means one color. Now using monochromatic color for our laptop means that we'll use a variation of one color. For example, if we start with blue, we can add a lighter blue like a sky blue color. And we can also add a darker blue like navy blue or anything in between to create our laptop. For your laptop, you'll need three papers in the same size in one color variation. Right here, I've got dark blue, medium blue, and light blue. Now my paper here is cardstock, but you can also use construction paper. Cardstock's just a little bit thicker, so your laptop will be able to stand up, but no worries if you don't have it, you can use construction paper. And if you don't have a solid color in different variations, no worries. Now you know what monochromatic means, and just choose the colors that you like best. So now we'll just need a few more supplies. A glue stick, scissors, and then if you'd like to add in detail at the end, you can have in some colored markers. So to start, choose the darkest color that you have for the laptop. This is going to be your base. So I'm gonna choose my navy blue color, and then you can set your other colors to the side. With the paper vertically in front of you, we're gonna fold it in half. So match up these bottom corners and fold it over to match up these top corners. And once they're matched up, go ahead and press down and make that fold line right in the middle. Now you can open it up and you'll begin to see the frame of the laptop. So this will be the bottom and then this part will be the screen. So you can go ahead and set this part aside for now and then go ahead and grab one of your other colors. It doesn't matter which one. This color will be for the screen and the trackpad or some people call it the touchpad. So just as we folded our first color, we're gonna do the same thing for this second color. So match up these bottom corners to the top corners and press down along the middle and make a fold line. This time we're gonna actually use our scissors. So go ahead and open it up, take your scissors, and you'll see this fold line right down the middle. So I want you to take your scissors and move your scissors over from the fold line just a little bit, and then cut from the bottom all the way to the top of the paper. And so now you've got two rectangles. I want you to take this smaller one and then right along the edge, take your scissors along the bottom and trim just a small piece off the side. And then once you've got that rectangle, we're actually gonna round the corners. So with your scissors, come up to one of the corners and just along the side, take your scissors and go in a curved motion all the way around until you come to the other side. And then you've got a little bit of a rounded edge there. So let's do that on all the corners. This is our screen, it's our finished screen. So you can set that aside with the other part of your laptop and then take the leftover piece that you have and we're gonna fold this. So with it vertically like I have here, I want you to take your bottom corners, fold it up to match the top corners. And it's okay if they don't match up perfectly. Then turn your paper so it's vertically again Fold another time. And as you're folding over and over, sometimes it gets a little heavy as this paper thickens. Then turn it again one more time vertically and fold up one last time, matching those corners and pressing down so you get one more fold mark. And then go ahead and open that up and you're gonna see a bunch of lines and all these different rectangles. We only need one. So I recommend choosing this bottom corner piece over here. You'll see the fold line going vertically and another fold line horizontally. 
take your scissors and just inside the fold mark, cut a piece and then follow again this fold mark over here just inside. And now you have a much smaller rectangle. We're gonna round these corners just like we did for the screen part. So take your scissors right along the edge of the paper, make a curved motion and round that corner and then go ahead and do this for all the other corners. So this is what is called your track pad, or some people call it a touch pad. And this is going to be placed toward the bottom of your laptop. So you can move that on over. And let's go ahead and begin to glue these two pieces before we do the last part, which is the keyboard. So using your glue stick, flip your screen over, and then right along the edge of that screen, put in some glue to make it stick. And then once you've got glue, go ahead and place it in the center on the top part of your paper. And then press down evenly. And then let's do the same thing with our trackpad. Take your glue stick, rub some glue along the edge and then right in the center. And then this trackpad or touchpad will go towards the bottom of your paper right in the center and then press down to make that nice and smooth. So now we can add in our keypad. So you have one sheet of paper left. Go ahead and grab that. Once again, turn that paper vertically. And then we're gonna match up these bottom corners again to the top corners. And then press down to make a fold mark right in the middle of your paper. And then go ahead and open it up and we're gonna make one cut all the way from the bottom to the top, just to the side of your fold mark. You can even get rid of this extra sheet. We are all finished with that. And turn your rectangular sheet so it's horizontal and then right along this small side over here, bring your scissors in just a bit and then cut a small piece off. Now with this, we're gonna cut five strips. That will be each section of our keyboard. But when we cut, we wanna make sure that all five strips will fit into this space over here on our laptop. So we're actually gonna cut them pretty small. So turn your paper vertically and then bring your scissors in just a little bit off the edge and go ahead and cut five strips from the bottom all the way to the top of your paper. So here are five strips for your keyboard. So let's start by lining them all up right on your laptop. And then we're gonna actually cut a few of these strips, but first we wanna make sure that they all fit with a little bit of space in between. So if for some reason your strips of paper don't fit all above your trackpad, go ahead and take any one of the strips that might be too thick and just take your scissors again and you can always trim a little bit off of your strip of paper. And then once they all fit, let's glue the top two strips. Can just move them all off to help us. So take your top strip, put some glue on there from one edge to the other edge, and then glue that right on top and press it down. And then for your next strip, go ahead and add some glue onto that one. Place your second strip down. And then these last three strips, we're actually going to cut them just a bit. So with one of your strips, come off the side a little bit and just trim one piece off and then let's glue that down. And then take this smaller piece that you just cut and let's add that right on the end of it. And then this next piece, let's trim it again. Take your scissors and this time we're gonna cut a little bit of a larger section off and then glue those two down. And then with your last piece, let's cut two pieces off. So a little bit off one side, 
and then a little bit off the other side. Let's glue all three of these down. So let's start on one side, glue that small piece, glue the little bit of a larger piece, and then the last piece. So there is the cutout of your laptop. So this is the portion where now you can take your markers and you can begin to add in a design. Maybe you want to go to your favorite website. Maybe it's a sports site. Maybe it's a search engine. Maybe it's an educational site. Maybe it's your school's site. But you could put any design that you want on the screen. And then you can also come down here and follow along with me and put in the numbers and the letters that correspond to what's on your actual laptop. So if you'd like to do that, take a marker and let's begin on this top row up here. And we're gonna write all the numbers. So it begins with one through nine, and then we're gonna end with zero. So you can space out these numbers so they go all the way across the top line of your laptop. So we're gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero. And now we can write the alphabet. So if you'd like to just go through and write the alphabet in order as you say it, you can do that. Or you can actually follow along with how the letters are organized on the laptop. So if you'd like to do that, follow along with me. So here's the letters. We start with Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P. And then on the next row, it starts with A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L. And then this button over here, this is gonna be your return key. So you can write out the word return. R-E-T-U-R-N. And then on this next row down here, let's continue with the last row of letters. We've got Z, X, C, V, B, N, M. And then this key over here is our shift key. So we'll spell that out, S-H-I-F-T. And then this middle key down here on your last row is your space bar. So you can actually write that out if you want to. It's space bar. And then this is your trackpad. You can leave that blank. And then this is where you can use the colored markers and design your screen. So this is your turn to get creative and put in all the detail that you'd like on your laptop. So there's our laptop for today. You can even add something on the outer part of your laptop if you'd like, like a sticker, or you can use your markers and make a design for yourself. So I hope that you have a very productive school year this year, whether you're homeschooling or you're on campus or you're set up with your laptop at home learning virtually or anything in between. I hope that you'll also join in again on the next art lesson and project, but until then, keep creating.